Hey guys, welcome to this week's show. Well, as you can see, it's still pretty early in the morning. We're on a beautiful 40-foot cobble, and that can only mean one thing. We're heading out in Lake Michigan to troll for some big Door County King salmon, and if we're lucky, maybe even a steelhead or two. So stay tuned, we got a great show coming up. The fish are biting, we'll be back in one minute. We got a good start here. We got a 175 Ditsy that went off first fish here. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. It's a nice fish. Took out about 450 foot of line on its first run. Good time if you had a sandwich right now, you can go take a break and eat a sandwich. We're gonna be here for a while. Tell you what, this is what it's about. All right, we're getting close here. You can see that dipsy. It's a dandy salmon. Come out, obviously. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna throw this one in the box, get that spoon set back out there on that dipsy and see if we can get another one. All right, well, we got a double on here. Kevin and I are working a double here. A uh, little bit of a little bit of chaos, but that's part of salmon fishing when the bite is good, especially. Try to make sure we stay everything clear here. Looks like we're pretty good. This one's coming in pretty hot, so it could be interesting. Dave, you got your Dave, I'm here. This is what you get sometimes. When the bite is good, you get doubles. You get fish hot at the boat. But hey, that's all part of it. That's what makes it fun. That's what keeps people coming out here every day if they can. Beautiful fish out here. Nice fish. All right, here we go. He's hot. All right, we got one nice one in. We still got Kevin's on here, so we're gonna clear this one as quick as we can. 
Well, yeah, we lost we lost a, a double here, but that's part of it, and that's okay. Because I, I think as most people would tell you, the strikes and the excitement that comes with the bites, that's half the fun of salmon fishing. So we had two on there, landed this real nice one right here. Um, like I said, that's part of it. You win some, you lose some, you catch some, you lose a few, but that's all part of it. So we're going to get this guy back in the box, get this rod back in the water, and see if we can't do it again. Well, Timmy, it's a beautiful day out here and on a gorgeous boat we're fishing off of today. It's 40 foot cobble. And you know, the fishing, you know, it's been good. We got off to a little bit of a fast start. Now we got a little bit of a lull here. But it's a great time to talk about a little bit about what we're doing out here and how we're doing it and a few things that could help guys get a few more bites when they come out here and do this on their own. You know, when the sun comes up, when you're dealing with the situations we have on hand, downriggers work good, but we got to run them down deep. We're talking everything below 100 down to about 120. But we're not just running stuff deep, we're covering water. We got the dipsies in that mid-range depth. We have coppers, lead cores, you know, swimming anywhere between, you know, 75 feet and about 35 feet. So the whole key is, is to cover the water column top to bottom, and then also out to the side of the boat. And we got those boards out there running pretty good right now. And uh, you know, we're just, that's what we're doing on a day like today. We're just covering water. We're gonna try to pick off, the, you know, those active fish. And exactly. that's really the key. Exactly, and you know, that's a good point because a lot of guys, you know, we didn't get out here real early this morning, but if you get out here early and you get a hot morning bite where it's still kind of dark, sometimes you can run your downriggers, your dipsies in those spots, maybe a board or two, but you want everything kind of concise a little bit, you know, because you're gonna have a lot of action in a lot of those situations. As we get the sun up, like you said, that's when we'll start adding boards. And, oh, dipsy right here, dipsy, dipsy, dipsy. Oh, it's a nice fish too. Beauty. Just another one that just <laughs> doesn't know that it's hooked yet. One of my favorite techniques for catching salmon and trout is running divers. Because no matter where the fish are, if they're deep or shallow, you can adjust these to where those fish are at. When the fish are deep, try running them at a one or one and a half setting. When the fish are up shallower, maybe a two and a half or even a three and a half setting. I'll tell you, next time that you're out fishing, look at your graph, see where those fish are at, adjust these, and that's going to put some more fish in the boat. Okay, we're getting close here. Get this fish in the boat. Another nice fish, you know, we're just picking at them. We're not necessarily, as you, you know, we said earlier, fishing prime time. Just picking at them. But we got them in. That's a dandy. That's a beautiful fish. Look how long that one is. Oh, boy. Take that fish all day long. That's a dandy. Another downer your bite right here. Another one. Oh, another one. Another one. You know, as a general rule, 
you know, if you're running either flashers or flies or spoons, you know, I always tend to like, I want to run one or the other. I usually typically don't run them at the same time. Certain conditions I will. But one of the things you can do is if you like running, you know, a bunch of different things, spoons, if you like running flashers and flies all on the same day, some of these fin flashers, you know, work pretty good for that. They give, uh, you know, that speed, that adjustment just a little bit, kind of puts it in tune with what spoon speeds are. So if you want to run different things, you know, maybe get yourself a few of these different type of flashers. And, you know, you do that, you're going to put some more fish in the boat. Fish down here. We actually got the double. Down here, down here. All right, we actually got two on here, guys. This is pretty cool. This is actually pretty fun. It's the second double we've had now today. And that's what really makes salmon fishing cool, as we all know. Lots of bites, and fast action, and you know, it's not uncommon. You get two, three, sometimes four or five on at a time when you go through a hot school of fish. And that's kind of what we did here, and now half the battle is keeping fish apart, so we'll see how this goes, but that always makes it fun. Well, we got the first one in. Working on number two now. Nice little fish. Not a monster by any means, but fun. And when you're getting them two at a time, sometimes even three, this size fish is a handful, let me tell you. So let's try to get this fish in and uh, we'll see what happens here. Nice little Door County King though. Nothing, nothing wrong with this fish. Clean, healthy. Oh, another downer bite right here. Another one. Nice. Working at number three here, three on at a time, three riggers went, just what we talked about, just went through a nice little pocket of hot fish, just the little guy here, but we'll get him in and uh, hopefully finish off this triple. Awesome, that's pretty cool. And that's what can happen out here, guys. When you get them dialed in, you get set right, you run through a little group of fish, you can put them in just this fast. Well, guys, here's the result of our triple header. Three quick bites. We put all three fish in the boat. And I'll tell you, that's pretty cool when you can do that. It just shows you if you stick to doing what's right, cover water, mix it up a little bit, you can have a great day like we had today. I want to thank Dave for taking us out on this beautiful boat of his, Kevin for helping us out. We want to thank all of you guys for watching, and be sure to join us next week for another great episode of Fish Door County TV.